हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इट इज टर्न टू विजिट आवर नेट हाउस एंड सी व्हाट ऑल वी आर ग्रोइंग ऑर्गेनिकली ओवर हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी व्हाट डिफरेंट वैरायटी ऑफ द प्लांट्स वी हैव प्लांटेड एंड हाउ दे आर डूइंग एंड व्हाट आर द नेक्स्ट प्लानिंग सो ऑल दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स वी स्टार्ट विजिट द नेट हाउस सो लेट अस नाउ विजिट and see what all is growing into this net house from the extreme right corner you can see the hockey area we have just prepared for growing onion and garlic we are going to grow it with the mulching so we have just laid down the mulching and now we are going to sow onion and garlic into this mulching holes next on the line here is we have a double line of cone which we have planted around 50 days back and now we can see the cone is as about to take the flowering and set the cobs in between there is a chili line chili line is with all the different papaya also so they are also doing good this chili you can see it is already started new fruiting and flowering next to this on the first this pole line we have planted some watermelon of season and you can see the very good growth of this watermelon vines are now there so we are going to get some crop from this in little off season next in the line is all the single line of cone so some of the cone on this end got damaged but now we have planted them with the different vegetables like here we have done some sweet pea you can see the sprouting of the sweet pea is done and in another another corn line we have put different type of beans now on this corn line we have put muskmelon as a intercrop and you can see that muskmelon has just started flowering so this is also one month old and now just they have started flowering so we are going to keep regular planting of the muskmelon and the watermelon every month to see whether we can grow it in off season or not again in the all this single cone line we have done with different type of beans we have just sown it here you can see the pumpkins now pumpkin is almost 50 days old and you can see the very vigorous growth of the pumpkin vines in this pumpkin we have done little pruning we are going to take shoots from 8 node to 14 node only and on those nodes only we are going to grow the pumpkin remaining we have prune in the start of the pumpkin you can see we have cleaned down all this initial node with the any new shoot and now we are going to train this pumpkin like in a vertical manner like this and take the pumpkin on it 5 to 6 pumpkin per plant next in the line you can see the mixed cropping example of cone which is around 50 days old now and you can see the bush beans so this bush bean is going to give us beans another after another 35 40 days you can see some of the marigold plant into this chili line to protect the chili now here is the okra line and you can see the okra harvesting is running and new okra is also getting set so we are getting good harvest from the okra too next in the column line we have just planted a uh, watermelon and muskmelon again in the previous column we have planted muskmelon with the cone and watermelon on a open line here we have planted watermelon with the cone you can see the new sprouting and near the next pole line we have done the muskmelon in the open line now here is the bush bean bush beans are growing very well you can see that lot of flowering is there and the new fruit is also is setting so we started at harvesting just now and we will be getting this harvest for another one and half to two months so next some of the old chilies then here is the french bean french bean initially we lost due to the rain but now the new shoots are coming out and again with the flower so we are expecting some of the good fruit from the french bean also here as i 
explain you. These are the melon lines, and with this melon, we have again put the peas. You can see the peas seeds. So the melon and peas we are trying to grow together. Now in the next portion, these are the old cone lines, where you can see the cone webs are set. Somewhere we have got two cone, somewhere we have got one. It is flowering, fruiting, and developing the cone. It will be soon ready for harvest. Maybe another in eight to ten days. And here the old chili line. Initially, the chili got some disease, but we have sprayed some organic pesticide on it. And now you can see the new shoots are coming, and we are going soon going to get the chilies on this. Some damage is done due to monkey. So next in the line is my butter gourd plants, which we are pruning and setting it to the double line layer. So these are soon we are starting good flowering and fruiting. These are these vines are around 30 days old. Now here you can see whatever the cone line with the double line, we have planted only cone initially, but now we are going to put some of the climbing plants on this. Like pole bean or some other climbing plant on this, maybe the cucumber and other. So they will take the support of this cone stalk and grow. Here are our cucumber. These are trained on the single line vertical trellis, and you can see the cucumber is already started setting. We have started harvesting also. A lot of cucumber is get we are getting from this line. We have done another type of trellis also for the cucumber, which I will show you in a few moment. So next is a uh, brinjal. Brinjal we have only 15-16 plant, but every third day we are getting around harvest around five to six kg, and there is a good harvest from this brinjal. So next line, what we can see is pole bean with the cone. We have done it in a mixed cropping, and you can just see the cone web is setting, and the Pole bean is climbing on this cone cell. Similarly, you can see this. All the cone are like this. So this climb, this beans will be taking support of this cone and grow. And at the same time, we are going to harvest this cone in couple of days. These are sponge guard, and you can see the sponge guard has spread all over the trellis. And in soon, we are getting sponge guard from this. Lot of sponge guard is setting. We have harvested it a day before, but you can see the new setting of the sponge guard is already in process. Now here are the beds where we have planned our mixed cropping of different rooted crop plus tomato and the chili. So today the sowing work of chili is going on capsicum. You can see that we have done this in the zigzag manner. Same way we have done for the tomato. You can see the tomato also over here in a zigzag manner. So we are going to put tomato and chili capsicum in the mix cropping with the carrot, onions, beetroot, radishes. With all this, here is the different type of trellis again, and this is the net type trellis we have done. And here we have done any pruning. Still, you can see the lot of cucumber is setting on this trellis. You can see just see that, and we have got good success in this also. We are going to compare both the type of trellising for taking the cucumber crop next time. But here also we are getting the good crop. Here is the, again the same pattern: the tomato and the capsicum. Here in this line, we have cluster beans, and with the cluster bean, we have done the beets. You can see the cluster bean is setting now very well, you know, good clusters, and we are soon going to harvest these beans shortly. In this last line, we have yard long beans over here. Yard long bean again, I have done on the single line trellis and trained them vertically up, and yard long bean also has started producing the fruit. You can just see this. This is a good length of the pod, and we are going to get good harvest from this also. Next on the this side end of the corner, we have done some 
watermelon. We have done this into the monsoon month for the trial, and we have got the good result into this. You can see the some of the watermelon is setting. Everyone is getting set two, three, or four watermelon. You can see this watermelon is setting. Here also you can see some of the watermelon is setting. So we are expecting some good yield from this watermelon also. So this is all about what we have grown in this net house. And this is all organically grown. So we have used cow dung manure and some castor cake and some neem cake for growing this. And we are getting good results in the very first year of this net house. So friends, how do you find my organic growing into net house? Please write me back into the comment box. And if you want to know something specific what I am growing, then write me into comment. I will reply you. If you like my work on this, then please give me the like or thumb and share this video with your friends so they can also enjoy and see. Happy growing!